Go horn salute, man. This is kind of a little uh, prophecy lesson 101. I had to clean up some notes. Um, here's my original scribblings. And this is just a, man, this is basic. I was listening, I, I lost my lost my internet, so I'm just kind of listening to this. And all of a sudden, there's this image. All of a sudden, this stuff just started coming to me a little bit. But, you know, I had to scribble and clean up these notes. Now, this dude, Nebuchadnezzar, had a dream in Daniel 2. And uh, he needed to know what this was now. It was this big image, and it was like a head of gold, Babylon, the body, the arm, arms and chest of silver, meat of Persia, the brass was the grease. The iron part was Ro the Roman Empire. Now, the feet of iron and clay, it still has some of the power of the Roman Empire, but some of the, well, you know, the clay of today. It's failed unions. They've tried through treaties and to get the continent of Europe together and, and other, it just, it fails like everything today. So now in this image dream, there's two feet, which is divided, right? It's on two legs, which are divided. Now this is made of iron and clay. You got 10 toes, 10 horns. Now it also said here, if you listen in the days of these rulers, boom, then the end shall come because it's made of iron and clay. And then a stone cast down from heaven or stuff are going to smash this shit and uh, on its feet and scatter it in the wind. Uh, just, you're going to have to read this shit. Just to understand the old, the New Testament, you need to do some, to, to understand the new, you need to read the old and the old read the new. And this is all just straight out of the Old Testament, Daniel. So there's this beast, okay? Listen to how it says it. It's sea. It's, it comes out of the sea, okay? It's not out of the Middle East. It's not out of Persia. It's not out of Iraq. It's not a out of Babylon, you get what I'm saying? It comes out of the sea, the, a body of water called Europe. Um, also, some of this knowledge I got, I gained from the Seventh-day Adventists, but now I'm going to hit you with a futuristic look, okay, with, with what in light of what's going on here and not make this shit too boring for you. Four winds were striving, and now when you're striving, that strife, warfare, and pulling the whole continent of Europe has been like that. So let's just say you seize Europe. You got these four beasts. You got lion, Britain, you got a bear, Russia, and it's got three ribs, and Right now, you could look at that like uh, the Union Estate of like uh, China, Korea, Iran, something like that. Maybe some kind of axis of evil. That leopard body, man, it's a fast cat. Now, it's had four heads, right, and a cat body. Uh, how about the papacy, Napoleon, Hitler, and Stalin? Let's just say. And then the heads, the rulers, they're the heads of state. You get it? Who, you know, who runs the heads of state? Now. There's a great iron beast, and there's some great iron beasts. Still, we're in the Old Testament now. He didn't even got to the New. Hitler and Stalin were some great iron beasts. So it was probably Napoleon, if you want to. It says it stomps the residue under its foot, and I, to me, it would be uh, ethnic cleansings. Get it? Ethnic cleansings. Uh, cleansings of certain eth ethnicities. It's happened all over Europe, Russia, et cetera, et cetera. I think we know what we get in the Stasi grouping. And it has ten horns. Again, this is the old holy rolling, holy roll. Holy Roman Empire. We did a count on all the all the countries back then. It comes out to ten. That little horn is the Vatican State because yeah, the Vatican is its own state and it's the papacy. Now, let's see. The ancient now here's some things my old lady didn't even hear. She didn't even know what the ancient of days was. If you hear that, it's God Almighty. And the investigative judgment, well, that's going on now in the sanctuary that's been opened up. In 2,300 days in the sanctuary be opened. You can find that, too, in the book of Daniel. The judgment is set, and those books of life are open. So on a resurrection morning, when you get resurrected, if you have that privilege, it's already set. Your judgment's been set, okay? And by the way, there's no secret rapture. I'll get to that in a little bit. This fourth kingdom he talks about, it's a church and state. And it changes the times and laws. It changes the Sabbath law. That changes the feast customs that used to be traditional, but now they've got their own feast traditions, man-made uh, man traditions, laws, blah, 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 change in the Sabbath law, Sunday keepers. So that's that Sabbath law. And that's just that. Now, shit, we got, what happened to my music thing here? So hold on. Let me get up to here to seven. Yeah, sorry about this. All right, so now I'm going to go into the book of Revelation. Now i get my little mood music in. The New Testament part. Now look, there's this beast of Revelation in there somewhere. You're going to have to find it. Again, I'm listening to this tape. I've listened to it somewhere in the back of Revelation, maybe. 
Now, let's check out some of the there. It's got a lion's mouth. The lion's mouth, think about it. It has power. It devours. It some strength. That leopard body, boy, it's fast, and it's a killer cat like that Blitzkrieg, eh? And the bare feet, it stomps and it slashes like the good old USSR. My wife hit this one. Seven heads, she goes, well, that's seven continents. I can't spell, but you get seven heads, seven continents. Now, I'm using a futuristic approach. The Seventh-day Adventists have another way of approaching this. So tonight, I'm just playing, well, let's just use a supposed futuristic look at it, because there's so many ways you can interpret, and this is just minor. All right, so we've got 10 horns with 10 crowns. We've got rulers, leaders, and they all got blasphemy on that head, and we all know that secret societies, secret societies, non-Christian people run the show, Bilderbergers, uh, Illuminates, and, and, you know, on and on and on. Get out the tinfoil hat on that one, kids, okay? Flip this paper over. So now, there's this dragon. He's going to be the head boss of all this shit. You've heard of an antichrist and things, things in the future. This is futuristic now. This dragon, he's the head boss. He's going to give power to the beast or power to the state. So this head dude, and he's, it's, uh, you know, he's the law, okay? And he gives power to the state. Now, the continent or the head of Europe was killed. Now, the Adventists would say that the papacy was killed and it was resurrected by Mussolini, but I'm looking at this a different way. That if a continent's ahead, Europe was killed by two world wars, and we brought it back to life, and 2023 now, before it gets destroyed again, look at it, we're all marveling at this thing. Now, there's a worship, worship a dragon, and it sounds like some kind of a supreme ruler, like a pope or Kim Chi Kim or even his sister, you get what I'm saying, and power to beast or the state, maybe church and state, beast and state, you get it. And Antichrist, we've all heard of this guy, this Antichrist somewhere is going to be an answer to all our problems. Hell yeah, we elected a Donald Trump, uh, I don't want to say my thought on who we might elect in the future, some electric car guy maybe. So anyway, uh, ruler of the planet, and all, everybody going to worship this cat because he's got power and shit, he can even make fire fall out of space maybe. So here's the thing, you might hear the sword of the word of God will slay in judgment. So when they take that, if you slay by the sword, you're going to get slain. It's, you're going to be slain by the word of God in judgment. And there ain't no secret rapture. That's bullshit, okay? That's some movie book bullshit to make you believe a lie. No, we all got to go through hell, and you got to pass through a judgment, and you got to die to see the light, just like Slayer said, and there's no secret rapture, okay? We're all going. We're all going. You're either going or you're not. Now, there's two resurrections. Let's just talk about the first one. You don't want to be in the first. You don't want to be in that second one. Now, it's saying here, and I'm going to hurry up and get done because I know we're around time. Image. Let's make an image to the beast. So if Europe is the first beast that's been destroyed, I'd hate to think this, but the USA rebuilds in Europe's image, and in the process we pass a religious law, a Sunday law. Yeah, uh, why would you want to make an image to the first beast? Unless you got your ass kicked and was destroyed and you had to rebuild? A, a scary fucking thought, is it not? Just, it's a thought. I ain't saying nothing. You know, just a thought. Come on. Deep thinking here. Nobody knows how to deep think anymore, do we not? Some two-horned beast in power comes up. I'm looking at uh, Vladimir Xi Jinping the other night and said, well, maybe that's that two-horned beast because it's a beast with two horns that comes up. And then we're going to have, after, there's got to be some bad, and then after all this bad, we're going to have to have an antichrist bring us back to power, kind of like an Adolf Hitler in Germany. I am your answer. And then there's going to be a death decree and a mark of the beast. And then, uh, let's see, now, here's another thing here. This uh, There's a rich woman in scarlet, scarlet apparel, and that's like a church. She rides a beast, some kind of government-type power. It's got those seven heads again, ten horns. We've already talked about it. She's the mother of harlots. I mean, she's a lead church, and she kills the saints. Well, the Catholic Church has got a great track history, and she's the mother of harlots. So that means all these little offshoots like the Baptists, the Pentecostals, the Presbyterians, Methodists, blah, 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 Seventh-day Adventists, Stephen, you're all offshoots of a mother. And the last thing today is this, and I hope I've, I know I've went through this, my notes are shaky, but look, if you got the testimony of Jesus, then you have the spirit of prophecy, and this is nothing. There's so much more that can go into this, but just some notes. It took me some time to clean it up. The original thing here, got it off this from this dude here. So it's just a little one-on-one -on -one there, one-on-one. -on -one. Have a good one.